Welcome back, uh, dear viewers, and you are still uh, watching Cairo Local Time. And in the second segment of our program, we will talk about the importance of the mega projects uh, that are carried out under the leadership of uh, President Abdel Fattah Sisi in all sectors. And today we are joined by Mr. Ashraf Dwidar. He is an economic expert. Uh, good afternoon, sir. Hello. So, uh, sir, uh, as uh, I've just mentioned, uh, that there are many many projects that are currently being implemented under the leadership of uh, President Abdel Fattah Sisi. So uh, let's focus first on building and upgrading new access and highways as part of an exceptional infrastructure program the government has adopted since 2015. So can you tell us more about the aim of uh, giving these mega projects, uh, uh, especially uh, upgrading infrastructure as a top priority? Uh. Uh, yes, good evening. It's, uh, it's very important, especially after the, the revolution in Egypt. We needed the government to spend some money in the infrastructure mm. that creates a lot of jobs, a lot of uh, work in the, in the field of the country, which is needed. You had a very high unemployment rate, mm. and you needed some major projects. Also, we lacked a lot of good infrastructure. So now building these mega projects with this up-to-date infrastructures and the new cities that we are talking about here within the, uh, uh, all around uh, the country, this creates a lot of hope and push the government to uh, help the people of Egypt to create some jobs and push the economy to grow more hmm. and create more jobs, which is, would be the benefit of uh, everybody in the country. Yes, uh, sir, uh, Mr. Ashraf, also, if we uh, talk about uh, the importance of building uh, new cities, uh, 4G cities and smart cities, and uh, uh, to what extent uh, the building of uh, these new cities will help uh, in uh, attracting more investors and upgrading the status of uh, many Egyptians who are living in these places? We've been uh, living on only 6% of the, uh, the country. And we needed a lot of new cities to push people to move to this new city mm. and expand the area that we live on. So one of the major importance of this new city is the expansion of the, air, the land that we live on. So this was uh, the, the most important thing. The second thing is if you want to attract foreign direct investment or yes. you need the Egyptians to invest, mm. the government showed the road for everybody to work there by investing itself in these mega projects that will make the whole investor local or international confident that the government is there uh, opening a new area have a vision and a plan for the country to expand will it help us to or encourage all these investors to invest in each Yes, sir. So how do you read the international reports on the performance of the Egyptian economy? Again, I couldn't hear. How do you read international reports on the performance of the Egyptian economy, especially amid coronavirus pandemic, as we can all realize that it has achieved growth rates? We have, we have a, 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 you know, the most uh, uh, growth rate in the area, yes. even in the world. This was happening because of the investment of the government in the economy. And this wasn't happening uh, around us. So these investments by the government means that the growth rate hmm. of the economy is the highest in the region, uh, which makes it more attractive. That you can see because of a lot of companies are coming to invest here. Hmm. We have heard about uh, Emirates is coming yes. and taking part of hmm. one of the biggest Egyptian a real estate company, and the rest will follow because of the shape and the current situation of the economy. Yes, so uh, now uh, as we can all see that the government is offering all uh, uh, facilities uh, to investors uh, to come and invest here in Egypt, uh, how do you see the government efforts to eliminate all obstacles facing investors? Uh, it, it's a lot of obstacles we had. It. It's something that we, uh, we, it's part of the heritage of the Egyptians. We have a lot of problems there, but the government and the parliament has been tackling all these problems, trying to issue new laws and regulations, which is 
going to help and encourage investors to come and invest in it. Yes, and in your opinion, uh, what is uh, the important uh, sector and the most attractive sector in Egypt to investors? I would have to say it's going to be the real estate. The real estate. It's, uh, the real estate. However, we should be looking to industry and uh, the, uh, uh, upgrading some of the industrial zones that we have. So it's going to be the real estate and the industry sector. And, uh, sir, uh, you were talking about the importance on, face, on uh, focusing on industry sector uh, in the coming period as, uh, as uh, one of the important sectors that will be attractive to, uh, to investors. So, uh, sir, how can we achieve this? It's, uh, it's low regulation, hmm. bureaucracy. Uh, mainly we have to work with the, what we always say is the one-stop shop. Yes. Uh, so we have to uh, simplify all the procedures to get the permits and to start a new uh, project in Egypt. Mm. This will be another thing about the industrial zone. It lacks a, lot, uh, a good infrastructure, mostly the old uh, uh, industrial zone. So we need to spend more on upgrading the infrastructure there to make it more attractive for investors to come and invest in the industrial sector. Mm. Uh, Dr. Ashraf, uh, President of Fatah Sisi, has uh, talked about uh, the government's uh, plan to combat uh, poverty during uh, the World Youth Forum last week. Uh, how, can, uh, how can we achieve this? How do you evaluate the government efforts to eradicate uh, poverty from Egypt? Uh, it's uh, uh, one of the most important, or a very welcoming project is the Haya Kareem. Yes, yes. It's a really a tremendous uh, program. And it's going to change the shape of a lot of uh, villages in Egypt, in the country. And uh, this is very, very unique and very important project. And it's, mm -hmm. I've never heard of uh, within the country. I hope this also creating jobs will uh, lower the, the unemployment rate, which is going to be very important for the whole country. Yes, and uh, this was my coming, that was my coming question to you about to what extent these mega projects uh, is uh, actually helping in reducing unemployment rates in Egypt. How do you read reports about uh, unemployment rates now? The Prime Minister has talked about the lowering the unemployment rate from 13 to I think it was 9 or something. This is very encouraging, mm. but this is not going to happen once. It needs some time mm. in order for this program to work and increase and attract more uh, uh, investment there from the private sector. It will need time, but I think it's uh, 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 in the right direction for the whole uh, benefit of the country. So, uh, sir, also, if we uh, talk about the uh, country's economic reform program, to what extent it has achieved its uh, uh, targets still now, and uh, it will help in achieving Egypt's uh, Vision 2030? I think there is a lot of work has been done in mm. simplifying the procedures and regulations. Yes. Uh, still a lot, this is a long way to go, and it will take some time, especially mm. people are not used the government uh, employers are not used to this new system. It needs a lot of training, uh, upgrading the quality of the people working within the government. And this will see it from the investor. If they are trusting what is going to be offered and the deal with uh, the, the, the people of, of the, uh, the government employees, mm. it needs some time. Uh, it's, but a lot of reforms have been happening. You cannot ignore that, but mm. it would need some time. Uh, Dr. Ashraf, also uh, President of Fatah Sisi, has always pointed to the importance of engaging the private sector in the development process uh, and uh, in uh, all uh, developmental projects. Uh, tell me more about the importance of engaging the private sector in building the country. Uh, the, the, when the, gov the, the president of the tax he started, he had to push the government to invest. People yes. were reluctant, weren't, uh, wasn't sure about is it the right time for the private sector to invest. Hmm. And he made it clear in the uh, youth uh, convention that we are waiting for the private sector to come. Uh, and he's giving them some assurance that we're not going to be competing with the government. All these messages should encourage the private sector to come and work. 
Another program has been, we have been always talking about the partnership between the government or the public and private sector. This program could be the intermediate program now, uh, shifting from the government, uh, the government in investing in the economy and take it at a period of time until we encourage more of the private sector to come. Hmm. So the, the, the program of the, the public-private partnership could be very important at this stage. Yes, uh, so sir, uh, finally, before wrapping up uh, this interview, also uh, one of the threats to economic reform here in Egypt is uh, population, overpopulation and the growing rates of population here in Egypt. To what extent it is threatening uh, economic growth? Uh, it's, it's something debatable. I mean, we can also say that uh, the population is uh, uh, preventing the, the country from moving mm. forward. But with the new cities that we are building, yes. we need a lot of uh, population, so it could be a benefit. Force, it's yes. how we're going to use these population mm. uh, as a working the force. Yes. Yes, so finally, I'd like to thank you, Dr. Ashraf Dwidar, economic expert. Thank you, sir, for precious information. And the viewers, by that, we come to the end of today's edition of Cairo Local Time. I'm Sheena Aydin. Thank you for watching.